Okay. Nochmal. Action. Hi, my name is Pamina. This is Pami and Kosi. Thank you so much for joining us today. I'm really excited because we are more than 300 subscribers now, which is amazing. And today I'm going to share with you the first tutorial of the channel. I'm going to paint uh, without any reference from imagination or seascape using gouache, of course, as almost always. And yeah, I had a lot of fun uh, filming it and painting it. I hope you um, enjoy it as well. Hi, this is my voice over voice. I'm really excited because it's the first time I'm doing this. The colors I'm gonna use are linked in the description. Of course, you don't have to use the exact same colors. It's up to you. I'm going to start with a layer for the sky using a tiny little bit of Prussian blue with white. I'm watering it down and as you can see the first layer is drying very very fast. It's because it was very hot in my room. And then I'm gonna block in also the ocean and some clouds. This is in real time. I'm making kind of zigzag movement for the waves. As we get closer to the bottom, the zigzag is wider. Now I'm going to block in the wave where the wave is crashing. I'm not using any reference, but of course you can use reference if you want to. Also, I want to mention that there is a traceable available for completely free in the description. Now with a little bit of Prussian blue and ultramarine blue, I'm painting some waves. I'm focusing on the contrast. I want to have contrast. Then I'm blending it with more blue and white. Here, this is real time. I want to have a little more contrast and drama going on. <laughs> so I wanted to paint some rocks. And then later on, I'm using the same color with more white and, and a little bit more of blue for the shadows, for the reflections on the water. Okay, I'm <laughs> listening to Radiohead, by the way, <laughs> on the video. Okay, second round for the sky. I was not happy yet with the color. I usually go over two to three times. Here I'm using more ultramarine blue and white. I'm not trying to blend the horizon so well because I'm going over again. And here, this is real time, I'm painting the clouds. For that I'm using a brush that's almost dry. I didn't use any water. Sorry, my dogs are barking. Anyways, I'm trying to blend it, but I want to um, leave out some white spots. I want to have that feeling of clouds. This is always back and forth. I'm going back and forth, painting highlights, low light shadows. Here I'm using more ultramarine blue with Prussian blue to create that wave that crashes. I want the sky to look more dramatic, so I'm going in with more blue. I want some shadows for the clouds. And that's what I'm doing here. Again, this is back and forth. Here I'm using, um, I think, burnt umber with black to create the shadows on the rocks. And then I'm focusing on the shadows on the surface of the water. I'm going in with more blue and white, a lot of white to create that foam effect, that wavy. Here I'm using a dry brush with a tiny little bit of white 
to create that splashes of water. I'm going in with um, more blue again. Here I'm using the almost dry brush. This time I'm loading it with a lot of white and a little bit of blue to create that extra splashes. This is always back and forth. You can use, of course, a reference. It's really very recommendable to use one if you're starting as a beginner. Because I was not so happy with the look of the horizon, I wanted to create a little bit more contrast. I wanted a little bit more interest. So I decided to use um, as a reference a picture I took in Asturias in the north of Spain. And I didn't uh, paint it exactly the same photo as you can see. I just wanted to look how the mountains looked how the colors looked in the distance. It's a mixture of green, very, very desaturated green with um, burnt amber and blue and a little bit of white. After that, I wanted the, the seascape to look more bluish, if you know, more ultramarine blue. So I used ultramarine to give it a glaze. A glaze consists of using color, watering it down and painting over the layers to create that image. Because my camera ran out of battery, I had to film some parts with my mobile phone. So I apologize if the quality is not quite <laughs> um, good. I think it's pretty good though. Here you can see how I used the brush to create that splashes to create actual splashes okay here the quality is not really good I, I apologize but as you can see I focused on the foam of the on the splashes the waves cracking against the rocks and that's my favorite part painting the highlights the water reflections it's so fun to do I used a fine liner brush for that with almost no water and very very little white and a little bit of blue. To create that sparkling water you just have to paint some dots that's all and immediately the picture the painting changes a lot. I really like that part. After that I took off the masking tape so I had my borders and then to give some final touches I went in with my Posca white pen. This is also a very very fun part. If you don't have a Posca pen you can go in with a detail brush and white. After that I just erased some marks and cut it the size I wanted. So I hope you like the end result. I'm really happy with it. You can use, of course, references I recommend it. I'm really happy with the end result. I have to say, <laughs> if you find it helpful, please give me a like, subscribe for more videos and you can follow us on TikTok, Instagram. And yeah, I think that's, that's all <laughs> and YouTube. Thank you so much. And see you in the next video. Bye. Mom, you. Hi, my name is Kathy. <laughs> Welcome to Kami and Kosi. This is also one of my three dogs. Today I'm okay. Well, <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna share the first tutorial video on the channel, and my mom is walking there, but I'm gonna ignore her. <laughs>